Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks Dips and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to, show, to share with you an important uh, tip regarding a new immunohistochemical uh, uh, stain or actually stains that were introduced uh, in relation to diffuse midline glioma. And these are the H3K27M, what I call the capital M, and the H3K27ME. Now, the combination of these two stains would support the diagnosis of diffuse midline glioma, but actually they are read or interpreted completely different in a different way. For the H3K27M, the uh, a mutation or the, uh, the presence of an altered status of the tumor would imply positive nuclear staining in the tumor cells in the presence of internal negative control in the endothelium, for example. This is extremely important to understand and really to pay attention to. So in order to interpret that capital, what I call the capital M for just an easy way to remember, is that the mutation, the capital M, the mutant, which is M, has to show positive in nuclear staining in the presence of negative internal control. Whereas the H3 came to equate 27, a trimethylation, the altered status would be interpreted by the presence of negative tumor cells or weak staining in the tumor cells in the presence of positive internal control. So they are as if they are completely the opposite to each other. When they are present, this would be supportive or even diagnostic of diffuse midline glioma. And we know that this is a new entity introduced in the WHO classification since 2016 and later on in the 2021 one CNS a tumor classification and it has important implication because if we diagnose a case as diffuse midline glioma this would mean a grim or dismal outcome regardless of the histologic grade. Now let's put this into context. This is a spinal cord tumor in a 14-year-old female patient, and it is high-grade glioma. But we have to specify whether this is consistent with diffuse midline glioma or not. So we do both stains, the H3K27 Capital M shows positive nuclear staining in the tumor cells in the presence of internal negative control, supporting that this is the a mutant tumor. And then the trimethylation would show negative tumor cell staining, nuclear staining, in the presence of positive internal control. And these are either some uh, residual uh, glial cells or endothelial cells. Now, together, in addition to the location of the tumor in the con in the right context would be supportive of diffuse midline glioma. Let's uh, try a, a, another case. This is actually a more challenging case. This is a case of a seven-year-old female patient who presented with a midline mass invading the pons and the thalamus. And if we look at the tumor, this is really low grade. There might be some atypical tumor cells, but we might not be quite sure and would we assign a diffuse midline glioma or not with the associated dismal outcome. So let's see how the stains work out or helped us in this context. The H3K27 capital M shows positive in nuclear uh, staining in the tumor cell in nuclei in the presence of negative internal control, the endothelium, as well as the pre-existing, the standby uh, glial cells while the trimethylation shows negative staining in the tumor cells in the presence of internal positive uh, control. Together, both would support the diagnosis of diffuse midline glioma, H3K27 altered, WHO grade 4, regardless of the histologic grade. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.